Hey guys, Brooklyn Boys here, and first and foremost, Merry Christmas! Today, Merry officially, Christmas. is Christmas, and today is the 12th day of the Brooklyn Boys 12 Days of Retro Game Miss. Yep, the final one to Retro Game Miss. And this game is a very special Super Nintendo game that we own. Unfortunately, we don't have the Nintendo version down here. Um, we would have to find it in the attic, so we decided to grab the next best thing for this franchise, specifically. Uh, this is a game that plays very close to both our hearts, because this is a game we both played immensely. Uh, I'll explain what game we played a little bit more than this in its franchise when we get to it, but what? But don't forget, yesterday... I was going to say, yesterday oh. was Star Fox, one, the game that started the entire franchise that is humongous today, and we'll be looking forward to Star Fox Zero in April, hopefully. So whether you're watching this on Christmas Day, or you're watching this a couple of days from now after Christmas, we know you guys probably won't be watching this on Christmas Day unless you have the free time to pop over to our channel and check this last day out. But anyway, for the last day, we decided to end on a Mario note. And for the last day, the 12th day of Brooklyn Boys uh, Retro Game Miss 2015, next year we're doing 25 games, and okay. we're going to be getting new ones. Um, we decided to do Super Mario World. Yep, the fourth Mario installment. Yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't say that on the top. Maybe it did for the Japanese version, but this is the fourth installment, like Mike or said. Or is it the fifth, because Lost Levels was... No, Lost Levels doesn't count. That oh, came out with count. the... Oh, with the, yeah, yeah, so it is the fourth, yeah. It came out with the, uh, what do you call it, the All-Star All game, so that doesn't yeah. count, technically. It does, but it doesn't. All right, well, anyway, fourth. fourth game. This game is the second most played Mario game that we own. The first being Super Mario Bros. 3. We can play that all the oh, time. And we that. still, to this day, uh, revisit Super Mario Bros. 3 from time to time because it's just a fun game. And like you just said, we love to play it. And I'm so glad that they moved it onto the Wii on the Super Mario Collection D, uh, disc. Right. But I believe this is on the Super Mario disc. Or was it? No, it was Super Mario All-Star. Yeah. Repackaged, so but no, it is also a little different graphics wise and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this game is our second most Mario uh, played game. We did a walkthrough of this game. We did a walkthrough of Super Mario Brothers 3 as well. But we love Mario. We'll probably be revisiting it again on Frontline Gaming Zone just because it's years later and it's always fun to replay these games. Oh. We now have an excuse to play it again because we have a new site. Yes. So... This game has a lot of really fun levels to it. You get this is the first time you get to see Bowser in that floaty blimp thing that you can play mm -hmm. with in the um, Super Mario Maker because, game. Because of course, once again, Peach gets kidnapped. Did mm -hmm. I just don't understand? And Super how. Mario Brothers, uh, Super Mario World actually is a playable level select on the Mario Maker, and you could also play as Luigi. And you could also switch well, you could lives, always do that. which I always had to keep taking my lives, mm -hmm. and while I was always left with one. And you forgot to mention something. What? This was game introduced Yoshi. Oh, that's right. And the pal blocks of yellow, red, blue, red, red green, green. And I think that's all. The that was all, I believe. Red. Yeah. I think that's all. Yellow. I said yellow. Yellow, red, blue, green. Yellow, red, blue, green, and. Whatever other colors they come out with. I can't remember. I think you're right. Was there it? is another color. I I don't know. But one of them, like the yellow one had the mushroom. The, oh, and they also introduced a new item, the uh, cape. Yes. With the feather. That I like the cape. And all that. Out of all the, the incarnations of Mario, I like Ice Mario. But the cape Mario, for the, every, every iteration of Mario had a flying, you know, suit. Mario 3 was the uh, raccoon. raccoon suit, which and I love key. that. And the Tanuki Both of them. Well, basically the raccoon suit, but you could turn into a statue. I'm saying the raccoon suit. So you had the raccoon suit for 3, you had the cape for this, and then you had the propeller for the, the new Super Mario Brothers stuff. I never really took up the propeller. There was what that was black the hat. There was the, the propeller one on the new one where you could go, Sir Michael, the propeller Mario. That was all the way until the Wii. I'm t you're talking about Super Mario 64 with the wings. Oh, I forgot that one. And then there's yeah, the wing cap the too. Wing yeah. one. You, you're talking about years later. Yeah, I, I forgot about the wing cap. The but wings. no, I, and don't forget the black hat that you can get in Mario Galaxy. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's the red one where you could fly around. 
anyway, we're going. Anyway, the cape history. is one of my favorite. The cape was one of my favorite um, flying suits, next to the raccoon. Right. Also, in this game, uh, it introduced the spinning. Mm -hmm. Where you could twist. And it. I believe it introduced the ground pound. And the key. Was it the ground pound in this one? Ground pound was on this one. No, the was spinning a, was, was spinning. what broke the ground. Yeah, though. and then the key and all that stuff. There, there's so many things trying to remember. And then there was the hidden level with the stars where you can oh. go all the way to the end in and one the shot. star world, yeah. This was a really wonderful game. This was one of our favorites that came out of the Super Nintendo. And if you have a Super Nintendo or a Super Retro Trio or whatever system uh, that allows you to play Super Nintendo games, this is a must. A must for your Super Nintendo collection. This is one of our most favorite and most treasured games in our Super Nintendo collection. And not to mention, to it this takes point. the graphics of Mario to a whole new level. That's right. It's it's uh, graphically changed Mario. Unfortunately, Yoshi can't come with you in the castles no! and stuff like that. He Stop falling. This table is very wobbly. And stuff like that. But Yoshi is way outside and you can't yep. come in the castle. But it was still enjoyable. It was, yeah. Absolutely. And that outro, when you finish the game, the credits, where they show you dun, all the dun, 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 that was That was just one of those unique endings. But anyway, yeah. with that, that's it. We're done. Dun, 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 dun. So again, guys, we hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Merry we Christmas. Hope guys, we hope you guys get everything you wanted this year, if not at least most of the things you wanted. I'm sure we're going to get most of the things we wanted. A uh, whole video will probably be on my channel. Uh, if you want to see what we got, uh, probably won't go up on Christmas Day, probably the day after Christmas. I know a few things Mike's going to enjoy, and he knows a few things I'm going to enjoy, and mm -hmm. yeah. So, until the whole video, and until the next video, take care everybody. We will be back before New Year's Eve with our 2015 game countdown. We will be getting all the games we own, uh, and we will be uh, counting down to our favorite game of 2015. Um, remember, there are certain games we did not get this year. Hopefully, Ellie will bring Splatoon so we can add that to the list. Yeah. But, for example, sure Assassin's is. Creed, I believe this is going to be the first year where we do not get an Assassin's Creed game. And to be honest, it's getting old. And hopefully, Battlefront isn't going to be following the same trend. But I'm hearing rumors that Battlefield 2 is being slated for the end of next year. And if that's the case, I'm nipping Battlefield in the front right now. And saying this is the only Battlefield game we're going to own, um, and that's the first one, period. Also, I do want to make mention about Super Mario World. That at the end, when it says the end, there's no start, and that's it. It's just the end, the end. Yeah. I, know, I just wanted to let them know that. They can't start. They have, they have to reset and stuff. forgot to mention. So, take care, everybody. We hope you have a wonderful holiday, and we will see you guys really soon. Probably nothing this week more. But next week, the countdown. Unless we do a 360. Maybe we'll do a 360 for the holidays. We'll see. But till then, take care, everybody. And we'll see you guys really soon in the next video. Love you guys and take care.